Hey guys, Frank here from the Art of 3D Experience and I hope you guys are having a good day. And today I wanted to uh, talk about something, um, a question from a student of mine who was struggling to um, basically achieve something with textures. And the question was, how do you rotate a texture once it's been applied to an object? Um, so I'm going to cover that today. So it's going to be a very short and quick tutorial. So let's say that I, I uh, create a cube. Then I'm going to apply a texture to this cube. So I'm going to go to my color texture, color channel, and I'm going to use, um, let's go for this texture here. Right, so I'm going to apply my texture to, I'm going to apply it to a face of the cube. because This is what the student was having an issue with, um, selecting a face and applying it to just one face of the cube. So now that my texture has been applied to this cube, let's say that I wanted to rotate this texture 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now, if I go to my uh, texture and go down to my coordinate, and change these numbers here to affect the rotation of my texture it wouldn't make a difference so it doesn't actually work position wise either so nothing works down here and so this is where the student got stuck basically and came for my help so the reason why you can't rotate anything on this cube is because this texture has been applied to the cube and has got a UVW map, a tag basically, meaning that this texture has been applied to this cube in a set way. So now you can, if you export this cube with a texture to another software and open it up, it will come in exactly like this. This is what UVW tag is for. Now to rotate this cube, I would have to go to my uh, texture mode on my um, cube mode so use texture mode and then normally I'll just go to rotate and I could rotate my texture but obviously as you can see nothing is working because of this texture UVW tag now let's delete this UVW tag and I'm going to go to my texture again and down here it still says UVW mapping I'm going to change this to cubic and it's going to apply it the same way it did the UVW map. But now, if I go back to my texture mode, and if I rotate it, I can rotate it however I want to rotate it because it doesn't have the UVW tag yet. So I can rotate it, I can move it, I can scale it, I can do whatever I want to this texture very freely. So I'm gonna keep it like this for now right and i could leave it like this but if i wanted to export this uh, cube now with the texture applied in this specific manner i would have to add my uvw tag to this object so let's uh how do you do that then if you if you want to add a uvw tag to your textures just click on the texture then right click on it and go down to generate UVW coordinate and that will then add a UVW tag to your object to your texture so now if I go back and try to rotate my texture it won't let me rotate it because it is now set to these various coordinates onto this cube so I can't move it and I can now export my cube and it will retain the position rotation and scale of this texture on this cube so if I had to go now to export um, a FBX for example it will save my objects my cube as an FBX with the texture intact so this is how you rotate textures on your models once you've applied them so let's try and add another texture in there just quickly let's do a logo for example let's say that I have a logo let's go for a Louis Vuitton logo let's try that so I'm going to apply my logo I'm going to delete this and delete my tag and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to apply my logo onto my face 
there you go then I'm going to go to uh, my projection and I'm going to change it to cubic right it's a little bit stretched so I'm going to try and scale it using my texture mode down here so scale it down like that I'm going to uncheck my tiling there you go and so here's my logo onto my box and I can rotate it however I want to rotate it in my texture mode so if I rotate it now it will rotate however I want to rotate it and if I add a UVW tag generate UVW coordinates it is now set and I can't rotate it anymore so that's how you deal with this issue of rotating your textures once they've been applied to your object and I hope this uh, little tip has been uh, useful to you guys and I will see you in the next video